These two American fighters have their hands bound behind them. They're dressed in uniforms not their own, and they may well have been captured by the very Russians that they've been fighting. This, as far as it goes, is good news for the comrade who last saw a T-72 tank open fire on his two friends. Does that give you any kind of cause for hope? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wish I could say with 100% certainty that it's not a fake, but I'm... I have a lot of hope that it's them. A former US serviceman, he was in the same battle as Alex Drukey and Andy Wen when they went missing in action. He fears Russian reprisals in Ukraine and beyond and wants his identity and voice hidden. He uses the code name Pip. But for the first time on TV, he described what happened on June the 9th, about 20 miles northeast of Kharkiv. The team was sent out on a mission on the 9th and they showed up in the area of operations and a full-scale Russian armoured assault was underway. A hasty defence was set up, two anti-tank teams were set up. Alex and Andy fired an RPG at a BMP that was coming through the woods and destroyed it. A T-72 then turned its turret and fired upon them, drove a few more metres forward and hit the anti-tank mine that our Ukrainian officer had placed. We suspect they were knocked out by either the T-72 tank shooting at them or the blast of the mine. So far, Russian officials have denied any knowledge of the missing Americans. 